So here it is. This is my little uh, 12 volt emergency generator. So you can see I've kind of got it a little bit set up. I was just running it, but I turned it off to uh, make it a little bit easier to for you to guys to hear me out there. So here's the generator, and let's flip over to the other side. Hopefully the sun won't be too much in the way. So you can see it's just a uh, little yard machines, which is a Chinese knockoff of a three and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton uh, gasoline engine. Uh, pretty basic, and as you can see there, I've got a GM, I believe it's called a three-wire alternator. Came off my old uh, Chevy Suburban. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, wiring harness is pretty simple. And as you can see on the other side there, I've got a little control box, and right there I have my battery source, which is the power to energize as well as the uh, power source to use when the generator is not running. Uh, this particular type of generator requires you to energize the field windings before it's going to produce any juice. So unfortunately this battery is pretty dead because I haven't used it in quite a while, but uh, let me uh, go ahead and turn it on and we'll see if we can get it going for you. If not, I have a extra 35 amp hour gel cell right there and I've got a little, uh, little vacuum cleaner I use to clean out my tent when I go on camping trips. So let me go ahead and get it started. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and set you up there so you can see the control panels. I'm flipping switches and doing things there. Oops. First thing to do is just flip it on. Put the uh, trip control on a little bit. Shouldn't need too much since I've already been running it. As you can see there, the uh, top gauge is showing voltage. Right now the uh, battery, the little uh, thing there, kind of in the lower corner. I don't know if you can see it, but it's showing 14.7 volts. And it looks like we're pulling about 10 amps out with the vacuum and the battery charging. So, And that was being energized at, I think, 10 something volts. So. Hopefully before too long my battery should be nice and recharged and I can put this all back in the shed. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.